okay, real quick, I'm going to do a video on um, taking profit on like a, a group of calls that you'd bought or um, basically what you want to do if you just have naked calls or naked puts, how to trade them. So basically on the four hour on this, this is uh, June 8th, 2020. We have a bullish cipher. Uh, in an uptrend, we've got um, bullish convergence there, bearish convergence there. There's a little bit of this is hidden bearish divergence, but I don't know if you're going from there. But uh, anyway, on the daily, the candlestick pattern that would have got us into the trade on this the small bullish cipher or bullish Gartley I'm sorry was this hammer that was followed with the morning star so um, and then so you had the morning star and and it came back and dipped um, so it depends when you take entry maybe we'll do it on the morning of the ninth so we'll do it the open on the ninth so let's go to the ninth that uh, we're at 10:44, so that's fine. Um, so we're going to look at July 17th. So these are a little more expensive. So there's a little bit of an ascending triangle. So say that's whatever the measured move is is up there. So you're going for a pretty big move, twenty dollar. But these are not like lotto tickets. But I can do some lotto tickets just to show what they. Nah, there isn't really lotto tickets, but. I'm going to go through with this one and show what to do if uh, price really runs up a lot. And uh, I'm going to buy quite a few of them just to show. Um, so I'm going to buy 10 of them. So just imagine these are like five cents a piece. I know this is going to cost quite a bit more, but it'll make sense in the end. So you're just buying naked calls. So we bought uh, July 17th, $20 calls on INO. Um, so we have about five weeks. Um, so all of a sudden after this cipher, it's going to break out and the news comes out. This volume's going to really come in. Um, and then on the daily, this would be the candle that would probably get me out of the trade. Um, this gap up on huge volume then this kind of indecision candle spinning top I mean it's kind of even um, but then you gap down you come back up to close right at that same area 3162 so you're going to be in pretty good money so we're going to go to the end of the day on uh, 629 and see what we would do here so we're going to go to the on demand go to July 29th and we're going to go to the close which around here is around noon it's 4 p.m. Eastern 1246 4 p.m. Eastern 346 p.m. technically in this one uh, 246 Central Standard Time um, so now we're going to go to monitor our positions so we have 10 calls that we bought for a dollar twenty-five. They're now worth twelve dollars. So they're up a lot of money. Um, so this is just a weird example, but um, so there's a couple different things you can do with them. So what you can do is prices at uh, mark thirty dollars and ninety cents. So you can sell a call above it. So I can go trade INO prices at 31. I mean, I could say you can look at where volume is. You paid a dollar twenty something for them. I could sell the thirty-five dollar calls against them. So let's just say you just want to take profit. You paid dollar twenty-five. They're now at twelve dollars and sixty cents. So that's twelve hundred and sixty dollars per contract and you paid 
So we're going to go ahead and just sell three of them to just take profit. So that's one way you can do it. You can just close your trade out. The next thing you can do is just sell a call at a decent run up. So if you want another sell another 20% up, it's fine. So you can sell the $36, $37 call. You can even sell the $40 call, depending upon how crazy this thing's moving. But it's moving quite a bit right at the end of the day. So let's sell the uh, $38 call. We're paid $1.25. Uh, we're going to get out of these for about $5.50. So $425 profit per contract. So I'm going to go ahead and sell singles so I'm gonna go to three July seventeenth thirty eight dollar calls for five dollars and thirty cents um so I paid a dollar twenty five so that means I'm gonna get four dollar four hundred and five dollars profit but what also happens is I still have a twenty dollar to $35 or $25 to $38 spread. So I have an $18 wide spread. That's max profit of $1,800 that you can do. So the last thing that you can do on this is, and I'll do it with the last three shares, is you can do what's called collar it. So generally on a collar, I want to sell 20% to the upside, buy 10% downside put, and not pay any money. Um, but I'm also... It's using deltas usually, but I don't want to go too much into that. Um, but so if I'm selling, this is things going crazy. So maybe I'm looking at selling 30% upside and buying a 20% downside put or just buying a put that's basically if I buy my entry price. Um, so you can buy a call and a put at the same price. You're fine. But say you want to lock in profit at. Um, you know, if I'm doing the 38, which I already did, then I'd go and look towards the, so the market just closed or it's about to close. So market makers are starting to pull premium. So I sold 38 for 460. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and buy the $26 call. And I'm going to buy three of them. And I'm colored. So that's the three ways to take profits on a call. On a put, you just flip it around, do the opposite.